Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Sims 3 Ambitions, episode 9. In this episode, we're going to free the genie. Yeah, we're going to free the genie. So off camera, I already did it. I already made Krista and the genie best friends. So now, it's the final part. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this. And uh, that'll be pretty cool. Oh my god, Krista, are you okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is nothing typical, but... Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and free the genie from the lamp. She is, like, completely scarred. She's, like, just scarred, scarred. My question is, how the hell did a bear get in the catacombs? Did we do it? We did it. Could you uh, clean me up? I definitely need to clean up. Uh... Let's see, what can we do? Okay. So. You want to join the medical street? Okay. Yeah. Magically clean sim. This is so cool. Getting clammy. You didn't claim me. Alright. Okay. So, I guess I have to do it myself. Jesus Christ. Oh, freaking out. You know. Can we swim in this? No, we'll have to go home. Boo! Boo! Okay, so I'm going to have to go home and take a shower. And then we'll come back and we'll start the, um... We will start the, uh... The... the you want to join the... Let's see... You want... Skip, no! You want to attend a party. Um... It, th there's a swimming pool here? Where? I don't see it. Because I, 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 I definitely try. What the freak? There is a swimming pool here. I should have, um. I should have. 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 Okay, guys, do you think we should. Okay, well, let's see. Put in the comment sections below if you think we should get... What's your name? Christina Brewster, a job. At the... Do you think we should allow her to work? Or should she just be at home like our personal maid 
butler slash slave. Yes, that's how you do it. Okay. Are you go are we home? Is this home? This is home. Alright, Krista. Where are you at? <laughs> Husband's probably like, um okay. What happened to my wife? Why is she take a bath. Go take a bath. He's probably like, What happened to my wife? Why is she looking like she just got out of a fire pit? The main answer, Rufus, is your beloved. Just free the genie. And I'm starting to come around and like Mr. Isaac Luck. I really am because he is 100% Krista, Krista, Krista. He likes her. At first, I thought he was going to be a cheating asshole bastard towards Krista. But it seems like he really does love her. Off camera, these two made out and woohoo two times. Two times. But I don't mean, well, the first time I did tell him to do it. But the second time, he did it on his own. And, um, he really does love her. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking they'll be together forever, I think, probably. He's going to ask her out on a date. Yeah. And he's also going to give her some flowers. Let's see, romantic flowers. Where's the best place for a couple to go for love day? Oh. I always wanted to do this for love day. Love day. Um, but... Before I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, save. I may have to cut this out on my video, but if I don't, then you know. It's okay. But, yeah. So, forgive me. So while the game's saving, um, yeah, I've really been into The Sims 3 Generations X. I really like it a lot. Um, I've been playing the family much, but I will get back to the Bubix family. I'm very undecisive as to what I want to do with the Bubix family. I mean, do you guys think I should bring them into The Sims 4 or not? Honestly, I want to know if you guys are tired of the Bubix family. If you guys say that you like the Bubix family, but you think the family's trilogy should come to an end with The Sims 3, then okay, I will end it. 
But if you guys say to me that you would like to see it continue on in The Sims 4, the family trilogy, then I will without a doubt put them in the sim bring them into The Sims 4 and do a let's play for them. I'm not gonna do it right now. A let's play for them on The Sims 4 because I'm very undecisive as to what I want to do with them. But I'm thinking about it in a year or two. I may... Because the reason why I say a year or two is I'm waiting for some expansion packs for The Sims 4. And when The Sims 4 gets in expansion packs, then I may actually bring... And if they actually do a Sims 4 Showtime expansion pack, you know I will be bringing back the family from the other side, Adra and Winner. But, yeah, so I just wanted... To ask you guys that, do you want the Bubix family back in the game in Sims 4? If yes, then I'll do it. This is awfully taking a long time to say. Post that in the comment sections below your answer because I'm curious about it. And of course, I got a new fan page, uh, the uh, Anaconda Facebook fan page I always put my uh, social media links in the description box below so if you don't know you should like definitely check out the description box and you will that's where you will find all my social media links where I'm at So, how many of you guys actually bought The Sims 4? And if you bought it, what do you? what's your thoughts about it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What? I know for me personally, I like it a lot. I do, because like I said in my Sims 2 video, it reminds me of The Sims 2. And I think it's deliberate that they do that. They make different versions of sims games that be like the same type but reminiscent of the others all right so here we go we're back so what i'm gonna do is go ahead off camera i'm gonna give krista a very special love day um Are we going in? We're going in. Okay, clothing. I never actually used this for love day. <laughs> but I think that seeing the fact that Valentine in The Sims 4, it is Valentine. I know, like, I will probably make a special Valentine's episode for The Sims 4. But let's go into the clothing store, clothing section, and let us pick out. Where are you? Wait, is, was that it? And that's the Katy Perry thing. Nope. That's not it. That's not it. There it is, I think. Yep. I like this. And I think it came with a set of wings. I wasn't sure. But I think it did. <laughs> but we'll just wear this. The 
This is cute on Krista. I think, like, I'll keep this as, like, her main dress for every love day. Let me see. Didn't they have, like, a pair of wings to go along with this? Or was that the guy version? I think that was the guy version. Pretty sure it was the guy version. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing for Isaac. You're wearing something for Valentine's too, buddy. You're not getting out of this. He's like, he's like, oh, Valentine's Day outfit. That's cute. Oh, wait, I have to wear it too? Damn it. Okay. I have so much stuff. It's not even funny. Alright, let's see what we got. I should have just did it the easy way and just filtered it. But where are you, Love Day Suits? Okay, I'm just gonna filter this to make it quicker. this cute thing from Valentine's Day that they had but I guess I have to re-download that shit so look in the next episode I'll probably show it to you but anyways we're going out for Valentine's and uh, I'm doing it with Krista mostly due to the fact that she just got married and um it's important to her. So, let's see. Where the hell did I put down the... Oh, yeah. We will go... Here. Because it's romance day. Spend a day with your partner, your significant other... Why are you just standing there, Christine? Uh, go upstairs, girl. Do something. I mean, look at this. You're even hungry. Hey, can she make... I forgot. She can make food appear. 
So she's a genie. We summon food. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Okay. Let's do curry. Cause curry is good. Peanut butter and jelly. A baby could make peanut butter and jelly if he wanted to. Alright, go ahead and eat that. I think this love dress is very cute. 